Hi everyone, Chef Lee's back and welcome to my YouTube channel. Click on the link below for more exciting videos, drop some comments, drop me a subscribe if you'd love to, that would be great and join me on this great adventure for more exciting top quality content from the comfort of your own phone. Alright, so today's dish we're cooking battered shrimp, just like you'd make fish and chips, you can do it with chicken, pork, beef, vegetarian option, Again, as I always say, the list is endless. We're doing it king prawns today, one of my favourite seafoods. I have them once every now and again, like crab and stuff, so try and keep the environment nice and you know intact. And we're just going to serve this with a bought in sweet chilli sauce. It's really easy. Again, just, just a batter, flour, shrimps, a great little starter. Having your friends around, a little party food, just dipping in there. Some of the compliments as well. Great stuff, okay? So shrimps it is. So, I've bought some king prawns, probably medium size, prepped them down, took the veins out, I've split them down, and I've kept the tails on for presentation, so I'll bring them up to the screen. I've got a little bit of seasoned flour here, just put some table salt, and I've put in a little bit of pepper. So I'm just gonna go in with that, okay. I thought the easiest way was just to coat them in flour, just to put this um, lid on. Just give them a good shake like that. As you can see, they've got a nice coating of flour, so I'll stick them to the side. And I'm going to bring in my bowl. So we're just, just going to eyeball stuff today, I said. We'll just eyeball it, okay? So I've got some plain flour here. Alright. Again, some, some people like it a bit thicker, the batter. Some people like it a bit thinner. Basically we're just making a fish and chips, similar but with prawns, you can do it with cheese, uh, crab sticks, you know, uh, fish of your choice. You can use chicken, beef, etc. Okay, vegetarian, aubergines, courgettes, some nice global tinned artichoke. So again, just a little bit of salt in there, so a bit of pepper. We've got myself a Peroni, typical in it, the Italian one. I'm just going to go in with that. Again, just going to eyeball it. Um, you can always add a bit more flour. If you need to be, if need be, sorry. We want a bit more there. Like that. Cold beer, really cold. If you're going to be making this in advance, you can just pop in the fridge for a bit. You can put a dash of turmeric just to get a bit of colour going on there as well, but I'm just going to leave it. Okay. Behind me, I've got my pan. It's on about 180, so I'm just going to slip it to the side for a second. Also, if you have a beef fat fry, you can get the temperature better. I'll give that a good whisk. I don't want to burn them, you know what I mean? So, you could add a bit of spice in here to it. Got curry powder, we've got to do a bit of a twist. Chinese spice spice. Sort right. of, yeah, I'm pretty alright. Not too thick, not too thin. That's how I like to go for it, okay? Must see we've got our prawns here, so I'm just going to drop these in. Now I'll use the tail end bits to drop into my into my hot oil. Just let it cool down a little bit because I've got to gauge the temperature. Otherwise, if it goes over, then I'll end up burning them. All right? Okay, so we're in our prawns. All right, just having this with a sweet chili sauce. Okay. Well, let's just try this one in, dip it in, okay, just let it run off a little bit and then in to the pan, okay. So you can see them on the back, so just gently cooking away. I've got this tool to fish them out. I've got, got a nice Denby plate, so a nice little, sort of different for presentation. I'll just drain them off on my little cloth here as well, at the side. Take off the excess oil. Alright. Clean as you go. You can use any beer, doesn't really matter. I would recommend using a bitter though. Or again, it'll probably make it a bit too dark. Alright, I think when I was in Dubai, 
Uh, they marinate prawns in like things like lemonade and stuff like that. So I'd like to try that one time. Just do that in Asia to so get them really crispy. Almost there. Uh, like my plates. Yeah, it's important to um, you know, with the right plates. I've got a little basket in the in my cupboard here as well, so probably go quite nicely in there. So just a bit longer. So I, I, I mean, at the moment I'm just gauging that temperature, it's about 180. You know, um, if you've got your, you know, your electronic fry, which is temperature gauged, it's a lot better. Okay. As clean as we go, as usual. So it works well with um, haddock, so I think of fish and chips, bigger pan, I'd like a bit, so I like a bit of turmeric in there, just gives that a bit of colour. Alright, we're pretty much there actually. Another minute, it's getting a bit crispier. Um, and after that I'll throw the, I'll throw the rest in. I'm just going to sift those out. Just sift the doughs out just to drain onto my cloth. And while I do that, I'm just going to go in with the rest, okay? We've got three more to do here. There we go, yeah. You can season up at the end. A bit of salt. Just arrange them in here. Fall, isn't it? I suppose. There we go. We just got some. I'm carrying on cooking. Just turn up a little bit because it cools down the oil. And there we have it. Looks good, doesn't it? I'll bring it up to the screen. Deep fried king prawns in batter with sweet chilli sauce. Great starter and great for the football, for some snacky food, okay? You can do it with goujons, like I say, and other, other beautiful fish, all right? Okay then, thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoy your prawns. on the side there, a bit of mutabel, some tabbouleh, your shrimps, great stuff all right. You could do some spring rolls and you've got yourself a nice party going on so use your imagination all right there but that's really simple. Again I'm just using the equipment I've got so I haven't got the electronic controlled temperature so I'm just going with my thermometer and a pan and just use what you've got because it's important to use what you have in the kitchen okay. Make do and you can still make great food okay. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again in some more exciting videos. Take care, have a great day and happy cooking. Bye bye.